Now, I won't do this with force on someone's neck, but I don't mind on doing it on the chair with someone's shoulder, because you can take it on the shoulder. But have a look at the effect and wonder what it would do to his head if I did it here. Excuse me, my feet. You see, when people see fists going forwards in kata, they often think that there must be something on the end of the fist. What if it's not about this surface at all, but all about this, and the whole of that is going up here, with this assisting it? It doesn't have to be this. It could be that, but it doesn't have to be that. It can be all of this, just like this. But through his neck. Then that's valuable, right? Yeah. Right. So when we're doing this takedown now, that's what you've got to imagine. Not that you're going, oh, but that you're blasting us like I did through his shoulder. I don't mind, if you get a bruise on his shoulder, you'll be okay. But not, not here. Not here. So people are going, oh, well, what if he doesn't fall? No, if you do this, but here, they'll fall. <laughs> right? And plus this, at the same time, they'll fall. We understand the idea? Because we can't do it full speed and power and have a good, healthy training plan. Shall we try again? Please. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs>